Be on. Yes. How's everything? Good? Yes. Okay, I'm going to share the screen. Uh, while I'm sharing the screen, also, uh, I'll a couple of questions on you. Um, you played uh, this game here as what? So you had particular position here on the field. So you played as what here in this in this game? Before I start moving the no. bit. Huh? I played number nine in the second half. And then left. No, this is the first back. half. Let's talk about the first half. All right, number nine. Number nine. Um, did you play with the, with the what was the, the 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 system of play? What was the formation? It was three five two. Three five two. So so there was two forwards, right? Yeah. Okay. In two forward setup, do you do you know um the type of runs and? The movements that you do with the with the other partner in the in the game, um, do you know any of that? I know some like the underneath line is like when they punt it up, you go in to to help them out to put like up back and through. Okay, what else? That's okay. That's fair enough. Let's go through it uh, very quickly here. Okay. All right, the first video here. Um, in 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 number nine position, uh, I wrote a note over here. Uh, with two nines on this, the second one, must be in the box, if the other has the ball, which is in this case. Um, your partner over here had the ball in that department. So when you look at the box as a number nine, are you there? No. Okay, so this is your position to occupy as a number nine. Do you realize that? Yeah. So one of the things about the number nines, if we play with two, four, two number nines, is uh, uh, one can be on the ball and one can run on behind the space and the other one if it's in the attack and third, the other one must be in the box. And you are here trying to help out uh, your partner, but in reality, that's it's not your uh, your business at all. You understand? Yeah. Okay, and this here, um, I see you tried to do something. Where was it? Try to get in the line. I tried to go past the defenders to... Look for a cross if anybody's in the box. Okay. Uh, I thought the, the attempt was good. Don't get me wrong. I thought the attempt was good because uh, you wanted to take the ball forward and push it forward. So uh, I think the attempt was good. Obviously, didn't um, you did not succeed because maybe the second touch was too long, but fair enough. Um, Here is another thing about the, the, the second forward or the first forward. Um, where is the space, Kian? Behind them. This is the space, right? I don't know what was happening here because the camera does not show exactly what has what has happened in here. But um, you tell me what what was what was going on? Who had the ball over here? Um, pretty sure Isaiah had the ball. Did he have time on the ball? Yeah. Okay. Um. So the space is behind. So Isaiah should have could have probably find you here. But your attempt was different. It was what you did. Let's see that. So you wanted the ball to come to your feet over here. You want you you asked him for the ball over here. Um, okay, this one here. Do you remember this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a 1v1 situation here, Keon, that uh, you probably missed because two reasons. Um, number one reason, which I I believe, here when Gian has the ball, you were you were here in this in this place, correct? Yeah. And then as soon as he took a shot, you moved in. Um, and then what? That's when you found yourself pretty much under pressure. I'm not sure why you moved in. Can you tell me? 
get the rebound. Oh, to get the rebound. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there was there a possibility to take that uh, chest to this area over here? Yeah. There was. Yeah, if I turn my body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's something that in the, that the reason why I highlighted it over here because I I thought you could have done something. Uh, it's one v one. It's it's one v one. You're inside the box as well. That's it's pretty much a good opportunity for number nine to take advantage of. I'm not saying what you did next was wrong. What you did is perfectly fine. You kept the possession. You gave it back to the to Gian, and we kept possession. But I thought you could have taken a little bit more advantage of that situation one v one. Understood? Yeah. Okay. This one here, I thought was very smart of you trying to play the ball one touch and move. Um, obviously, Kishan did not do the best out of it. But it was, it was good. Okay, here, again, this is your second, uh, this is your partner, this is your second forward. He was pretty much here. Um, when he moved to check for the ball, created what? Okay. Created space. And you are just standing over here. Eventually, eventually what happens, you'll see what happens. This is what happens eventually. You kind of reacted to it, not acted to it. So you kind of reacted to that one. See? Oh. And then the defender had, had the best out of it. Um, same thing here. So this is your partner right here. This is number 10. This is your partner. He's over there. So you're kind of a little bit far away from the action. You should have been in, probably in this position for anything you can you can get in behind. You know what I'm saying? So yes. two forwards, it's pretty much like you play next to each other. You're pulling each other. You know, if there is a string in between your waists, both of you, it's like you're pulling each other. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, that was it on this one, I think. All right, let's get to the to the full game. Um, No, this one was the this person up here. So you and I were gonna go through this um, uh, video as long as you are in the field. Um, okay, here in this in this one here, Kian. The ball was played long, but where was the space? You wanted the ball, right? Yeah. I think it was, I think it was this one is a free kick. But where yeah, was well, the space? Between the two defenders, the left back and the center back. Between the left back and the center back. So your run should have been probably this way, looping around here. I'm not saying this one, this, this is a wrong position, but your run should have been here. And actually, you should have demanded the ball to be here. I'm not sure who crossed it, but whoever... Um, your run should have been here. You gotta look at where the space is and you can run right in front of him or behind him. Um, I'm not saying the cross was good either. The cross is not uh, perfectly fine. But at least what I'm trying to see here, if you can dictate the run, dictate the ball to be into your run. Because you went, you placed yourself, you turned your body position great, but then you gotta recognize this. Okay. You see it? Okay. Obviously, the cross is not the best uh, cross possible, but what I'm trying to say is uh, you always, as a number nine, try to find uh, the space where you can be more effective. Okay.
I'm not sure where you have. Oh, there you are. Oh, that's I, I remember that one. Um, I don't think it was a foul, by the way. He did he did the, the most out of it. I don't think it was a foul. I think you were right. I remember that. It was right in front of me. Up to this point, do you have any questions, Kian? As a striker, like, would you rather me start from the wide position and then make a run in the middle between the two center backs, or would you rather me start from the middle and then make it wide? Uh, either way, it depends on where the ball is, really. It depends on where the ball and the space, Kian. What you need to look for, that's a great question, by the way. What you need to look for is the space. So you create space by moving away from the defender. You create space, you create distance, you separate yourself. And then you're looking to get back to that space that the, if the defender follows you, the defender follows you. So let's say you move, right? And the defender follows you. Boom, then, then you're going in front of him. Because then he opened up a space for you. If that defender does, does not follow you, then you created that separation. And that's for you to take take advantage of. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it all depends yeah. on where the ball is and where the space is. That's what you need to always search for is um, how can I create space to take advantage of the space? Okay. Um, here... I thought you were more more proactive uh, in this game um, than the previous game. Maybe the, because of the position, and you wanted to do a little bit more. Uh, but then, uh, so far here, okay, here that's the ball that's not successful. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change the other game uh, on 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 the view. One second here. Maybe they will have a better view. I think this is a better view. Okay, so by the way, um what was your task defensively? Um because this is this is looked like you were you were you knew what you were doing here defensively. Was it because just because next to you or what? No, it was so since there was two strikers, one mm -hmm. would press them like directly and then like the other striker would close in on the six, so they wouldn't have a chance to switch it. Okay, fair enough. Um I thought I thought this one was, was very good. Uh you took a uh, good touch. Did you know? Did you know about the Gian in that area, or you assumed that he was there? No, I knew about it because Kishan was calling for the ball, mm -hmm. and he was close, and I saw the space over there. So, I tried to switch it. Okay, cool. And how about the next one? Um, your run over here. It looks like uh, you were trying to get in between the defenders, which is fine. Yeah. Okay, so um, so Kian, something I needed to be aware of. Um, 
if you don't get it, so you made this run right here, right? If you don't get it in a, in, a, in a, if you don't get it now, then you need to make another move because what what the, the, the move that you made, you continued going there, which is not the right thing to do because eventually you took yourself out of the 18 yard box. You see that? Yeah. Took yourself out of the 18 yard box, then it become becomes a little bit of a problem. Um, if we were to go and, and try to, uh, to score, then we don't have enough forwards, which Keon was here right here. Should have been probably in this area. My point is as a nine, um, always try to be in that area. The closer the goal the, to the goal, the better. Yeah. Okay. Or actions that you were in it. Okay. Did you want the ball? Not in that area. Did you expect? Was... No. Okay. Here's the here's the thing. Um, uh, in in the other meeting as well, I told the, the boys. I said. If you don't get it in two seconds, you gotta move somewhere else. So here you stood too long that this this guy this guy is approaching, and then he became you become a very predictable target. You understand? So from here, as he is approaching, you need to probably make this miss this run over here. Okay, this run over here. Come to the middle. I know okay. this guy hold. I know this guy hold held the ball too long, but you also stayed there for too long. So you count one, two. If he doesn't give me, I gotta move somewhere else to be more more effective uh, and not held back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you mean to lay it down or 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 was it that happened? Mm. I, my my first plan was to give it to Keyshawn, but then I saw a player coming that way, so then I so you, started your to intention was to lay it to lay it up to uh, someone, right? Yeah. Okay. Good idea. Yeah, I thought uh, I thought you were um, defensively you were very uh, engaged, trying to uh, prevent uh, the center backs to receive the ball. I thought that was that was very good from your end. Um, 
who's the tallest guy in in, in here in the, between the both forwards? Who's the tallest guy? Who's the tallest? You or the other one? Sorry. Huh? The other one. Yeah. You are taller. Me? Of course, you are taller. You don't think? You don't think so? We're like the same height, bro. No, I think you are taller. To be honest with you, man, we're gonna we're gonna try it tomorrow. See, but uh, I think you're definitely taller. Anyway, so here you received the ball, the second ball. Um, good read. You received the ball, but then what was your intention here, Keon? I know the ball bounced a little bit, but what was your intention? Uh, I was, I was trying to play it to somebody, but like, cause I saw, I knew he was gonna. Like header it back, so then I tried to get the second ball, but it was just like it was poor, like getting the ball under control. Okay, poor touch. Okay, okay. So then for an out of bounds and the R ball. Repeat the question, please. Like, if I'm facing our goal and uh -huh. there's options back, but then there's somebody in the middle, but he's kind of marked, should I shoot the ball and wait for somebody to come, or should I try and play that ball so we can get a potential switch? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You should probably shield the ball until the... Um... You should you should get something out of it. You should never lose the ball. There, that's That's very simple. Never lose the ball, even if you have to shield it and, and draw some some foul, for example. If there is no one to lay it off the ball for him, um, then yes, the most important thing is shield the ball. See if you can turn and go to space. Okay, always keep in mind the space, which we're going to talk about right now. What else? When like as a striking position. Would there be somebody like would it be me my job to come in and support the the close balls like the close passes or should I mainly be trying to go the runs in behind? Yeah, you need you need to be focused mainly on the runs in behind, especially when there is two forwards. You're playing with two forwards or even one forward. If you are the only one number nine, mainly um, with your speed, you should be able to always get in behind. Great questions. Yes. Right. The focus should be like that. Should be, um, you talk to the number ten or who is, uh, you know, behind you. Talk to your teammates. Say, look, my 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 expertise is I'm going to run in behind. So find me in behind the space all the time. But you also have to provide yourself into the space as well to make those runs. Okay. As a number nine or number second uh, second nine or the second nine. What else? When in that play in the first half where I tried to go down the line, would it be like harder to to try and go down the line or to cut in? So if it's kind of a crowded area, would mm -hmm. I try and go down the line and look for a cross or would I go to goal and like try and cut in, even though it's more risky to get the ball to go? Yeah, the best thing is, like you said, um, if it's more risky to go inside, then it's best we go around the, around the area to go down the line to see if we can fit in the cross. Okay, so um, with your with your ability, you should always look to get in behind. Cut and cross uh, could be a little bit more difficult since you don't have that that proper technique to go through the crowd. So the best the best possible uh, uh, outlet for you is. Yeah, you get around and try to push the ball forward and get get down the line for a cross. Keep that in mind. That's a great good question as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here's 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 a few things I needed to write down, Keon. Um, five W's. Write down five W's. So the five W's here are where number one is where. Okay. Okay. So in where 
You say, where I'm, well, first of all, uh, write down the, the what. What position I'm playing today. So the what is next to it. What position I am playing today. Okay. okay. The next one is where. So where will be the space for me to create chances, to create opportunities and attacking wise. Okay. Okay. This is as an attacker. So we're discussing the W, the five W's as attackers. So where will be the space uh, for me to be the most dangerous possible? Okay. So if I'm playing a nine, so where is the space? If I'm playing a seven, where is the space? If I'm playing 11, where is the space? Okay. Even if I'm playing as a two, where is the space? So the what is what position I'm playing in today, okay? And 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 uh, and and then you ask the second question is where is the space to be more more uh, uh, effective? Number three, um, there is the why. Okay, so in why is. You combine both the, the what and where. So why am I playing in this position? Um, and uh, and then why am I going to be uh, effective for the team? Okay? Okay. This is attacking, okay? We're talking about attacking. The who. Right. The, next, the next one is the who. W who. Okay, so in 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 uh, in relationship with your position, who is next to me? So if I'm playing a seven, who would be my next player or next to me? Right? Who is that? When you play a seven, Kian, answer me. When you play a seven, who would be your 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 partnership? My right back or my striker? Yeah, no, you're right back. Technically, you're right back because you're playing a seven on a wing. So your right back is your is your partner. So the who is if I'm playing a seven, who is my partner? Because I'm gonna need them. I'm gonna need them when I have the ball. I'm gonna need them either to overlap, or to underlap, or to uh, to come and come beneath me to support. All these things they have to come in hand. So you, you can't just walk into the field and you don't know who are. Uh, your partner, who is your partner or around you, area? Okay. Yeah. Okay. The last one, which is when. Okay. So basically, the when is always you ask yourself, when do I open up? When do I come in? Okay. When do I cross? When do I when do I fill in the space? So lots of questions you can ask about the when. This is while you are playing. You're going to ask these five questions, by the way. These five W's. Okay. So, so remember these five W's all the time, Kian. I think this these five W's will probably open up a little bit of uh, uh, understanding any role you play in the field. Let's say today uh, the coach tells you, hey, you're going to play a center back. Okay, center back. Position, what position? Center back. Uh, where is the center back's uh, areas? The defending third, the, the mid third. Uh, they're barely in the attacking third. You understand? So that's the where. If I'm a center back, uh, why am I a center back today? It's probably because I'm going to uh, win headers. It's probably because I'm going to tackle. It's probably because the coach wants me to play out of the back. You understand? So you try to find answers. Why am I picked up to be a center back? And then the who. Who are your partners in the center back? If you if I ask you, if you play a center back, who are your partners, direct partners to you? Who are they? The other center back. And the the other back. center back and who else? The keeper. Who else? The wing back. That's it, right? And then obviously the number six who's coming also from, from the front. You see, so, so the who is very important there. Who are the guys around me? That are they're gonna help me support me when it's needed, okay? Um, and then obviously the last one is the when. Um, when I am playing a center back, uh, when do I push up? When do I retreat? All those these questions 
they need to come in mind for you to serve to serve a good game. You understand, Kia? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so always keep in mind those five Ws uh, right before uh, before the game, right before he gives you the position, the coach gives you a position. Uh, and if you don't find answers, don't be shy to ask the coach. So, hey. Yeah, so Kian, don't don't uh, don't ever be shy or, or or intimidated to ask these questions. The very very important questions. If the coach says, if I come to you tomorrow and say, hey Kian, I'm gonna have you play as a six today. So give me um, give me answers to the, all these five questions now. All right, let's go. You are a six today, Kian. You're gonna play a six today. And if you don't find a, an answer for any questions, for any for any of those W, just let me know. I'm here to answer. Okay. What position do you take? Why am I playing this position? Uh, to defend and distribute balls. When? Why am I? What type of balls? What type of balls the six usually win? The long ball. That's one. The one down the middle, trying to play two balls to the nine. Okay, that's two. There's one thing that I need. I need. I need you to answer. Number six is is uh is the guy who stops transition from the attack and third. Keep that in mind. So the number six is the player who who must always. Um, be in a space to stop the transition uh, or the counterattack. We call it counterattack, but but transition. That's transition forward for the opponent. Okay. What's the other one? The question. Who will be next to my... who will be, So who will be next to you, uh, Kian, as a number six? The, the direct okay. players around you, huh? the direct players. My two center backs and my center mid. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The when, uh, when would I like retreat to be with my two center backs? Uh, when would I attack with my center mid? When would I distribute balls to my wingers and to my wing back? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. And, yeah. Okay. Was there any other uh, question? Did you uh, did you answer the uh, did you answer the where? Where, the space? Where would I distribute the ball? Like down the middle, and like when or where would I also look to get the balls? Maybe okay. from my wing back when uh -huh. I check in, and where would I be looking to? To find the passes up and over to my strikers, maybe. Okay, so give me defensively. Now, all these things that you mentioned are offensive. Give me defensively. Where would I be closing in? Next okay. What else? Where would I be intercepting balls? Down intercepting, the intercepting balls. Okay, intercepting balls where? Down the middle, trying to find them. Okay. Yeah. So good stuff. Good stuff. So those are the questions you must always um, ask and answer and find answers. And if you don't find the answers, hey coach, uh, where do you want me to be as a six when when this action is here? Hey coach, um, 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 what do you want me? When do you want me to check for the ball when the center backs have the ball? All these 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 questions you need to find answers while while you play or before you play. Matter of fact. You understand? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think we wrapped it up. Uh, I mean, we didn't do much of a video, but I thought uh, I thought we wrapped it up with good questions here. That probably will help you for for your next game. Yeah. Any other questions, Jade? Uh, Kia? No. I think I covered it all. Okay. Um, Try to always ask those five W's, okay? Don't forget them. Because as, as coaches, me as a coach, um, I always ask these five W's. So, for example, if I'm going to bring 
peon off the bench in the game, the first question I asked, the, the, the question, the, 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 the order of the questions will have to change. So uh, why am I bringing in Keon? Okay, where am I going to bring in Keon? Okay, um, what position I'm going to put him in? Um, um, who will be his partner that will probably make him the most effective? Okay, and when do I bring him in? See, those questions, they, they come, uh, I ask myself before I make a sub. So I so I get the most out of the player in the right time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, they help me for the most time. They help me, so I'm sure they will help you as a as a player as well. Okay. I think I uh, I think we've had we've had good conversation here. Yeah. Thank you. All right. I look forward to see uh, your performance next game. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right. Have a good night, my friend. All right. You too.